Have you gotten your vaccines? Good morning, everyone. I'm Roland Barris, senior reporter for Idaho News 6. And places like Primary Health have been hopping lately thanks to a spike in the flu, and COVID continues to be a real concern. This tiny vial of vaccine may be your best friend this holiday season for both the flu and coronavirus. The flu has really taken off, but COVID seems to be a constant, and it's unsure if it's more dangerous this year. I really don't think we know, especially with the component of long COVID thrown in there. That's really significant for a lot of people. I don't see COVID just becoming flu anytime soon. COVID keeps on mutating, but Weiss says the latest boosters seem to be effective against it. Still, some are reluctant to get it. The only reason I did is because we were traveling to Philippines and without it, I wouldn't be able to go for my trip. If you do get sick, doctors say stay at home except to visit the doctor who can determine right away if you have the flu. And remember, tests for COVID, well, they take much longer because the viral load has to build up over several days. The CDC says it's still concerned that some hospitals nationwide could be overwhelmed by the combination of flu and COVID. But Weiss says so far, Idaho is looking good. We're nowhere near where we were hospitalization wise a few years ago. And so I think we're ready to handle it at this point. So again, it's not too late to get your flu vaccine and your COVID booster. Keep in mind, though, that both of those vaccines take about two weeks to reach peak effectiveness in the body. And if you need to get your booster for COVID, you just need one dose. That makes things pretty easy. In Boise, senior reporter Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.